welcome to another Command and Conquer Zero cast. This time we are on natural threats and we are looking on a rage versus size match again. I'm very excited for this match because it was rated very high in the replay section of GameReplays.org. This map is created by Relax and Agent 21 as we saw there. Here at the top posi position we have Size, the Danish Dynamite with his um, Demolition General and here at the bottom position we have the Nuclear General of Rage. So it looks like Rage is going for the very fast early aggression here rushing his dozer to the top position maybe placing down a supply there and here it comes at the top position we are going to see a barracks not a fake one so size is one or two seconds um, behind here with the building as the fake one gives you more time but only a bit just a bit so two tunnels going up here immediately no supply here in the middle like uh, rage did war factory war factory going up and uh, two, supply, two supply stashes here up already for size a terror attack is in preparation and as the demo general he only needs three terrorists to blow up one war factory and this can get crucial Supply truck scouting on the area, killing one worker here at the left position, so the left tunnel is denied. The right tunnel finished, and the dragon tank can just sneak right through here, other, unless the worker gets there in time and builds up the tunnel, which is at 96%. Technical arresting that uh, supply truck, which killed um, a few workers there. So that's some damage. Oh, yeah, nice! Scaffold popping up there! Removing the scrap and two workers were safe there in that tactical. Battlemaster coming in here by rage and in our tactical here dropping that three terrorists, detonating the Battlemaster and the War Factory. So 2800 damage was dealt with this attack and the tactical is still going. Rushing for the two supply trucks here at the bottom side, harassing them and uh, looks like he has no troops inside anymore. But he is too sub promoted and can do some serious damage as we can see right there. But I think Rage is upgrading the mines right now. So if this truck, uh, if this tactical tries to uh, scrap up, it will run into mines and die a horrible death. But no, it can get away and has a free star promotion high uh, damaged gun on itself. That is very dangerous. The power uh, reactor is going down. And the uh, tunnel, tunnel going up there. Power is gone, and the supply center is also going to fall. Drag tank dealing with this worker there, bringing him up into flames. Okay, Rage meanwhile is uh, rebuilding his base, rebuilding his reactor, mind his supply center, the supply center at the bottom side is gone and there's no worker inside the technical to build up a supply stash there. Would be at a perfect opportunity right now. And uh, the techni technical needs to be very careful, he's shooting on the technical, uh, on the supply truck and spotting the mines. And can take down the Battlemaster with the correct micromanagement, but the Battlemaster survives and is detonated. Another battle bus are detonated here at the top position. Oh, flame tank coming in here on the left side. Forcing a cell on that supply stash. The five workers will survive. And the scorpion there to deal with that threat on the left side. And the dragon will not get through to destroy that barracks. So the barracks is being kept by size. No supply stash yet here in the middle, which is surprising me, but maybe Size has some problems protecting the middle, so that's why he is not placing down the supply stash there. Of a Battlemaster coming in, but this is not looking good for the Battlemaster. He will not get through there as there are too many tunnels. The RPGs are popping out and finishing off that Battlemaster, but the Battlemaster will detonate five workers. That damage is dealt, and that's 1000 damage worth in cash. Okay, the supply stash here on the left side went up. The scorpions now have their um, very important scorpion rockets. 
And uh, looks like this scorpion is running into the mines. No, he noticed it and is getting back. The RPG is occupying that building to get a safe uh, range on those supply trucks without getting crushed. Scorpion running through. Searching for those damaged supply trucks, but will run into the mains, mines and is uh, gone. Those are here parking at the bottom left to rebuild the main supply. Rage is not looking that bad, as he has two supplies and is even with the income um, compared to size, who also is sitting on two supply stashes. Another battle master is coming through this time, no RPGs to protect that supply stash, the workers are running away. And uh, uh, three workers already down, poor workers. Oh, and blowing up another free worker, so the damage is a 1200 worth in cash. So that damage was very bad. There are four size rage here, absolutely uh, beautiful, harassing his enemy there with his battle masters. Another one getting through, no pop out of the RPGs, but this time we have two scorpions with rockets. But again, killing a few workers, constantly harassing that supply stash, all workers are gone again. Size has troubles with his income, he only is mining from one supply effectively right now, because the other one is getting harassed by rage. Oh, but there's no occupied building, they're just in front of the war factory, and that war factory needs to be sold because there is no way for Rage to deal with that with those many units he has right now. One battle master is not enough to deal with that. No sell on the war factory though, which is surprising me. 2000 cash lost. Dragon tank came out to uh, kill that one RPG, but that was a trade 300 to 800, so not effective for Rage. Enough of Battlemaster getting through. We saw this three times or four times already. I think three times. Four workers getting killed again or three. I think it were four. And an incredible amount of damage done on this main supply. One dragon head left. Tunnel is gone and we can see it attacked now by size here on the right side with three scorpion tanks. Just when the barracks is going up, it's getting this. Detroit. Cancel on the barracks. Doza is escaping. This is the second Doza. Okay, I thought it was the last Doza of Rage, but I think Rage is going to lose his first Doza. Losing two, uh, no, losing one Scorpion tank here to the mines. Doza can escape. Nice micromanagement here with the trucks, letting the Doza through. And it doesn't look like that size will uh, succeed with destroying the supply center. It is being repaired and the uh, scorpions are being taken out by the battle masters. Good thing there was no scorpion rocket on that scorpion tank in the last few seconds. Uh, otherwise the battle master would have been destroyed. Another sneaky attack here by size finishing off two supply trucks. Come on, two. Give me two. Two, 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 two. No, not two. No, why not? Okay, so only one. But Rage was confused. He already did, did build another one, so the damage was kind of done. Because Rage did spend his 300 cash, uh, 600 cash on the supply truck, so the damage was done. Another battle master here at the top. Constantly harassing that supply also here at the left position harassing now the second supply and Really hurting size here in his economy Size doesn't have a lot because he's constantly building his uh, Worker production again and look at that swarm of battle masters. Wow Supply trucks are now being harassed to the escape and the third one also escaping. Here come the battle masters and here are the scorpion rockets. One battle master will be picked off I think and there it goes. But the damage uh, was not dealt on his friendly units.
good thing for Rage. And look at this, another Battlemaster tries it, but this time not getting through. The Scorpions can't deal with it in time, almost losing that one Scorpion to the detonation. Two more Battlemasters coming in on the left, but there are three Scorpions, and Rage decides that this is too dangerous and turns back. Size crippled as he is in his income, now going to capture the Oldrex. He now has one and is capturing the second one right now while protecting his force. And will Size be able to capture that? No, it doesn't look like the rebel stopped, maybe because of a misclick. Maybe he pressed Q and selected all units and clicked here on the right, and the rebel cancelled his, um, his uh, oil capturing. Can happen. And now he did decide to not capture it again because the capture is on cooldown. We now have an Overlord tank here by Rage and an ECM tank. Scorpions being picked off. Battlemaster survived. And this army is scary as hell. War Factory this time being sold, getting the 1000 cash back. And uh, that Battlemaster shouldn't be in this position here right now. But it is destroyed now. Losing 800 there. Tunnels being picked off. Size losing 1600 here, right there without dealing any damage. Bit unfortunate for him now. Garrison that building, but there is an ECM tank, so Rage can easily deal with that. But the ECM was out of position, and that this cost him a Battlemaster. Picking off that RPGs nice and easily. And we now have, have an artillery strike coming in on the arm sealer and the supply stash will probably finish off the arm sealer if it is a free star uh, free star artillery strike. Supply stash being sold and there was no damage at all, but there is the bomber coming in, new bomber coming inside. Uh, coming uh, here inside, yeah. And arm sealer is gone. Good thing that size did sell his supply stash. Getting back the 750, I think, and supply stash going up again. Size has that has that one oil rack, so he is getting back some cash. Also here, the the oil rack on the left, so he has two oil racks. So he is not in that bad shape anymore, and getting some nice income can rebuild his stuff and can finally put up a good force against his opponent, who is constantly arresting the whole game long. This is of course what you need to do as the China player against the GLA. Don't let the GLA build up, otherwise it will get nasty. No palace. Ah, there is a palace. Okay, so size has a palace. He has the ability to train a German Kel. And uh, yeah, I think he is already on the way. And a battle bus. It looks like a battle bus is uh, coming in here, or maybe a technical with uh, RPGs. And we have a tech RPG. Uh, maybe with a worker? No, no worker. I think he's going for a propaganda center or maybe a um, dozer hunt. Black Dollar is here now captured the first oil direct for Rage. While Rage is now destroying all the buildings here in the middle. And a tech RPG coming in, harassing the supply trucks but not finishing off a single one, dodging the mines. And uh, searching for a good uh, target. I think he should go for the propaganda, propaganda center, but there is an overlord tank right now, and this is scary. He needs to retreat, otherwise, he will lose all that stuff. RBGs cannot escape being killed here, and that was a loss of 1200. Look at that battlemaster. Rage constantly being a dick. Killing <laughs> all those workers. I should probably build an counter here. How many workers he killed on this one single supply stash? Frederick being captured there by Rage on the right side. And the German Kel would be scary here right now. But there is one missing outpost to capture back the Overlord tank, so it wouldn't be so much damage there with the German Kel. Oh, you see him an overlord here on the left, and I think I heard a jam Kel, and there it is. Jam Kel sniped the listening outpost, so he really wants to snipe those overlord tanks, and 
deny the capture, the recapture. Okay, tunnels are gone, the worker being slaughtered there, and I think Lotto is now running here to the left to capture the Eudric, but no, she's just sending a capture to Eudric for the cause of China. Oh, a demo bike finishing off that Battlemaster. Rage was not careful enough, but this time he is careful and finishing off that demo bike. You know what demo bike there at the production and the command center is going up. And this is trouble for Rage because this enables size and the ability to drop and deploy Rebel Ambitious, which will cause a lot of damage. Oh, Jam Kel here on the rampage. And there is no unit to capture the overall tank back. Ah, oh, okay, there is a unit. Another demo bike dealing absolutely great amount of damage. Destroying 8,000, uh, 1,200, uh, 1,600, no, I have it. 1,600, and there goes another tank. So the demo bike harassment is pretty effective here right now. Another one incoming, but stopping just right in front of the target. Worker here, very brave, repairing that wood house. Oh, nice rebel ambush, killing two overlord tanks and one listing outpost. That damage was huge with just one rebel ambush, and all the overlord tanks are gone. Massive, massive, massive damage here dealt by the GLA player. We now have a helix on the battlefield, and the rebel, uh, the. the Eudrak here being captured back by size and two more demo bikes on the way. Also here the left, Eudrak was captured by the beautiful Black Lotus, who is now running here to the command center to capture that. And a Turi strike trying to finish off the Eudrak and succeeding with this try. Turi is just running through. And uh, accomplishing his goal, wow, he just went through all the way and finished off that airfield. That is a good and brave terrorist, he will get his virgins for sure. And uh, yeah, new bomber, he also doing some great damage, bringing the uh, supply station to the whole more damaging the palace, very good. Black Lotus now capturing the command center. And the Helix is guarding that. And bad for size, he doesn't have uh, so many air defenses. So Rage can do a massive amount of damage here right now. He even has the propaganda tower, but is uh, chilling. Rage, what are you doing? And losing that Helix because he, because he chilled in the air like a bird. Chilling in the air. Like that one bird who can chill there right at the same position he did it right there and lost that full helix that was a massive amount of damage five tank hunters inside wow so command center gone no sneak attack no rebel ambush so size need to rebuild that and uh, is is a bit of missing in cash here right now, but he has the cash bounty, I think. He has this one Eudric and he has German Cal. He uh, had German Cal. Okay, only one quad cannon there. So the, the helixes should probably go in there and kill the stuff, but now it's too late. A massive amount of supply trucks. Look at this six supply trucks. That is a huge army here just gathering all around the supply piles and there comes the death. And now they all go on. Go. Like an army of little girls chasing the stars and then the stars um, get in front of the girls and the girls run away like, uh, like little chickens screaming. There's a mine drop incoming and some helixes again with um, those tank hunters. Nice mine drop here, by the way. And here, look at this Black Lotus standing behind that barracks, a tunnel going up, and Black Lotus in a kind of a difficult uh, position here right now, standing next to the barracks. Her lover 
can get out anytime and shoot her a bullet between the titties. It can happen. Just watch and see when a uh, German Kel is getting out here and sniping uh, his feline say. But it didn't happen. But a worker ran into it. Worker there running into Lotus, blowing himself up. And there goes the arm stealer. I think it was the arm stealer. I'm not sure what it was. I didn't look, but I think it was the arm stealer. Small army here by Rage. And the work running into the mines and killing himself. So we have uh, five tanks there versus four tanks there. And this means Rage uh, has a larger army. And uh, can do more damage with that army, but uh, once the command center is finished, that army is gone. Will be gone, I mean. Okay, so Size really needs more quad cannons, but it looks like he has no money to afford an arm stealer again. So he's kind of stuck on what he has there. He also has no Alderic while his opponent has one. Also Rage now throwing down a supply center here to get more cash. So size only opportunity to uh, get the upper hand again is to finish that command center and throw a mighty rubble ambush into this small army. And then it will be all over for Rage I think. Because destroying that gives uh, size um, lots of cash through the cash bounty. Terry strike here on the workers doing um, a good amount of damage here, killing three and denying the supply gathering, which is so important for size right now. 95%. Those overlords will be slaughtered. If Rage is clever. Then he splits those tanks up and doesn't let him uh, get ambushed. And look at this, he's doing it. He leaves one overlord tank behind. And maybe he should leave the ECM now behind. He should split them up and then he is not vulnerable to um, rebel ambushes. And look at this, they are grouped and I can see the rebel ambush already. But no, it is not coming. And the uh, rage decides to go back. And we have German Kel. Look at this German Kel. I think he's going to snipe an Overlord tank and then jump into it with a rebel to get a nice army, nice unit. And there's the rebel ambush. Overlord gone, and the supply center gone, but uh, no Overlord grab for a uh, size. Bomber incoming to deal some good damage there on the palace, but the palace is going to survive with red, with red health points. There it goes, even the supply stash so wiped, and also that brave worker who doesn't want to live any longer and throws himself into the radiation. Felix is finishing off that palace. Nice strike by Reach. Sneak attack. Sneak attack there. Oh, Black Lotus sniped into the titties. Look at this. Black Lotus fall onto the ground. Charm Cal did his job. Poor Lotus. <coughs> and Size has been defeated. You are victorious. That was just too much harassment for him. Rage did a pretty good job here in this game. Building all those battle masters, harassing the supply stash of size over and over and over again, and just uh, crippling his opponent um, does not let him breathe any more air, and this uh, killed size in the end. So, very well done here by both players, especially by Rage, and I really like that match was really intense and what I also liked it was not on tournament desert. I think that's all. If you want to see more uh, videos 
make sure to follow this channel. More is definitely now coming as this is my, uh, my uh, side job right now and this means uh, more uploads are coming for sure. Also, if you want to support this channel, there is a Patreon page set up and the link is in the description below. Every cent helps. And uh, yeah, I thank you for watching and like always, this is your CNC HD. Bye bye.